Hello, and welcome to another episode of Fleet TV. My name is Andrea, and I'm excited to welcome you from my home in La Mesa. Today, we will explore the tiny but mighty things in science. First, we'll visit with Andrew, who is going to put a coating on a piece of paper, a very thin film, that will give it a beautiful iridescent shine. Andrew, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Hutchison. I'm from Pacific Beach, California, and today we're going to do a really cool experiment that showcases some of the basic concepts of nanotechnology. Now, let's take a closer look at this butterfly wing. I'm guessing if I asked most of you what the color of this butterfly is, you'd all say blue. However, if we shine a light through the back of the butterfly, we can see that the butterfly wings are actually brown. Now, this has to do with the nanostructure of the butterfly wings. And we can actually see this with an experiment with bookmarks, nail polish, and water. Now what you want to do is you want to pour a thin layer of water in the tray. And once you do this, take one of your bookmarks and completely submerge it in the water. After that, take your nail polish and throw a few drops of nail polish over the bookmark and onto the water. And when you do this, be careful not to actually dip the nail polish in the water because you might accidentally ruin the nail polish. So once you've done this, carefully lift the bookmark out of the water with the nail polish on top of it. And lay the bookmark on a paper towel and let it dry. Once this dries, you'll see some really cool colors reflected back to you. Now, the reason you see these really cool colors and the reason you see blue on the butterfly wing are actually for the same reasons. You see, the thickness of the nail polish on the bookmark and the nanoscale features of the butterfly wing are actually in the range of the wavelength of visible light. Because of this, some of the visible light is actually absorbed while some is reflected off the front and the back of the nail polish or off the nanoscale features of the butterfly wing. When this happens, if the light reflected have crests that overlap, they reinforce each other, and this is called constructive interference. When this happens, we get really cool bright colors reflected back to us, like what we see on the bookmark, or what we see on the butterfly, or even what we see in peacock feathers. Now, not only does this have really cool effects in nature, but this has applications we can use in our everyday lives to make it much better. This is a photovoltaic solar panel. It has nanoscale features very similar to the bookmark. When we manufacture it like this, it actually makes the solar panels highly efficient, lightweight, and bendable. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Andrew, that was amazing. Thank you so much for this demonstration. And now we'll turn it over to David, who is going to explore with us some hydrophobic sand. Take it away, David. Hey there, Fleetsters! David here to show you some cool nanoscience with some waterproof sand that you can make in your own home. Now to do this, you're gonna need some clean sand and some waterproofing spray like Scotchgard that you can get at your local hardware store. What you're gonna need to do is put the sand in a large bowl or pan, and then take the waterproofing spray and spray the sand liberally. Now, you're gonna wanna do that about four to five times, probably, shaking the sand up between each time. Then you're gonna wanna set this aside and let it dry outdoors or in a well-ventilated area. I happen to have some that we finished yesterday so that I can show you the cool properties of this magic sand. So you can see what happens when I put the sand into water. You can even see a little bit how it clumps at the bottom. Now, watch this. I put 
pull it out and the sand is still dry. Put it in water and it doesn't get wet. You can even see how the water kind of beads on top of the sand, just a little bit. Meanwhile, I also have some oil. And if you put the magic sand in oil, watch what happens. Look at this goop. Ugh. Now, it's actually working exactly the way that it's supposed to. Because magic sand is waterproof, not liquid proof. Which means it's able to soak up liquids like oil. And it's used to do things like soak up oil spills. Pretty amazing. And yet, it's something that you can make and play with in your own home. So have fun, but be safe. Wow, David, that was amazing. Thank you so much. And thank all of you for tuning in for this episode of Fleet TV. I will hope you will join us again next week. Make sure to follow us and like us on social media. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Bye.